let's look at this question during an unstable period the values of dollar pound and euro fluctuated across the week from monday to friday their values across the week in indian rupees are given in the graph below dollar pound euro in the graph are represented as a b c not necessarily in the same order so we don't know which of these is dollar we, we don't know which of these is pound we don't know which of these is euros okay note assume that charges or currents conversion of currency is nil okay so let's go ahead try to work our magic here see a person buys dollars worth rupees 3 lakh 60000 on monday exchanged them from indian rupees on tuesday and got them converted into pounds immediately how many pounds he could have possibly got okay now see if he had 3 lakh 60000 if he had 3 lakh 60000 on monday uh, if he bought dollars worth 3 lakh 60000 on monday if he had this currency this is currency b this is currency a this is currency c regardless of which currency he had this has the value of the money that he has has increased by 25% 20 by 80 is 25% 40 to 50 is 25% 20 to 25 is 25% regardless of which day you look at it the value of the currency has risen by 25% so the amount of money when he exchanges them for Indian rupees on Tuesday, the amount of money that he will have will be 360,000 into 5 by 4 or 450,000. This is the amount of money that he will have with himself on Tuesday. And then he got them converted into pounds immediately. How many pounds he could have possibly got? Now, we don't know which of these is pounds. We don't know which of these is pounds. If B was pounds, the amount of the number of pounds that he would have got would be 4,500. Is if A was pounds, if B was pounds, he could have gotten 9,000. And if C was pounds, he could have gotten 18,000 because we don't know which letter represents which currency all these three are possibilities but among these three possibilities the only option that is given is option b 9000 so how many pounds he could have possibly got the answer is option b 9000 okay next question a transaction is defined as converting one of these three currencies into INR or converting INR into one of these three currencies. What is the maximum amount in INR a person could have earned by at most four transactions over the week if he has INR 22,000 with him to start on Monday? So on Monday, he has 22,000. Now whether he converts it to A or B or C wouldn't make a difference. This is plus 25 this is plus 20 percent this is plus 25 but this is only plus 10 percent this is plus 25 this is plus 20 percent so in the first two days in the first two days it would be preferable if he takes it to b or c so i'm saying first conversion on Monday itself to B to B now it rises by 25% it rises by 20% so 22,000 into 5 by 4 into 6 by 5 cancel 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 3 and 2 11,000 this is 33,000 why I've only gone up till Wednesday is C. After Wednesday, going down, going down, and going down. So what I would prefer to do, what I would prefer to do is, on Wednesday, on Monday I do this. On Wednesday, I have my second conversion. Whatever currency I'm holding between B and C, whatever currency I'm holding, I convert it back to, to INR. And at this time, I have 33,000 after the 25% increase and the 20% increase. I convert it back to 33,000. Now from Wednesday to Thursday, 
I don't uh, convert it into any currency. I hold my INR. I hold my INR so that the drop that is happening on Thursday, the drop in value of currencies that is happening on Thursday, that does not impact my investment. Now, on the last day, I see there is a drop here. I see there is a drop here. But here, there is a 20% increase. So at the end of Thursday, what I will do is, I will convert this into, at the end of Thursday, end, I will convert it to a, convert it to a, and then at the end of Friday, I will convert it to INR again. Because of converting it to A on Thursday end, my the money that I have, the money that I have will rise by 20%. So this will become into 6 by 5. Or the amount of money I will have is 39,600. 6,600 into 6. This is the final amount of money that I will have. See, the very tricky thing here, which most likely people will miss out on, is the fact that from Wednesday to Thursday, you don't let the market screw you over because you know, you know that the value of the currencies are going down. So on Wednesday, you convert it to rupees and you hold it in rupees. You don't convert it to either A or B or C. You don't worry about that. And then at the end of Thursday, when 50 is fixed, now you convert it so that on Friday, you end up getting some gain. This is the maximum amount of money that our friend, whichever person is engaging in these transactions can earn. Because he had 22,000 in the beginning, the gain that he has is 17,600, which is what the question is asking me. What is the maximum amount a man could have earned? So answer will be option C, 17,600. Okay. Let me get rid of this. Now, if exchange rate of currency X to currency Y is formulated as the amount of currency Y one would get with the Indian rupees got by converting a unit of currency X into INR on a single day. This is a very, very convoluted way of saying the exchange rate with currency, the exchange rate with INR divided by exchange rate with INR. So if I'm looking at exchange rate of B to C on Monday, I would go 80 by 20. Exchange rate with INR, exchange rate with INR, 80 by 20. So this will be equal to 4. This will be equal to 4. Okay. Now, if the exchange rate for pound to euro is 4 on one of these days, all of the following could be true except. All of the following could be true except. Okay. So let us find out cases where the exchange rate is for, in another example, it was turning out to be four. So I can see on Monday, 80 by 20, I can have four. So A dollar, dollar, B being pound, and C being euro is a possibility because exchange rate of pound to euro on a Monday is four. Now, when you look at Tuesday, 100 by 25, again 4. But then this is not a new case because pound to euro for B and C was anyway identified. Similarly, on Wednesday, pound to euro on Wednesday is again 4 within this case itself. Then on Thursday, there are no two numbers that have a ratio 4 is to 1. Then on Friday, we get a new case wherein A becomes pound, B becomes D becomes dollar and C becomes euro. The ratio between pound and euro had to be 4 is to 1. So 60 is to 15. That is being maintained. Now, regardless of which case you take, you can see C is always euro. C is always euro. Okay. Now, first statement is exchange rate of pound to euro on Monday is 0 0.5. In our first case, pound to euro ratio is 80 is to 20. So no, 4 is to 1 ratio we are getting. In our second case, in our second case, pound to euro ratio is 40 is to 20. So the ratio is 2 is to 1. In neither case will I ever get the ratio of pound to euro on Monday as 0 0.5. So which of the following could be true? Except which of these is always untrue? This is always untrue. For sake of completion, we'll look at other cases, other statements also. 
exchange rate of dollar to euro on Tuesday is 2. Dollar to euro. If A is dollar and C is euro, 50 is to 25. In our first case itself, we have this potentially true. So cannot be the answer. Exchange rate of pound to dollar on Wednesday is 2.18. On Wednesday, 2.18 is the ratio between B and A. Pound to dollar, yes. This is possibly true. So cannot be the answer. Exchange rate of euro to pound on a Friday is 0 0.25. See, given that uh, in the second case, euro to pound, 15 by 60 is 0 0.25. In the second case, it is possibly true. So this cannot be the answer. Of course, the answer has to be option A. Last question. If the exchange rate of pound and dollar is same on at least three days of the week, then which of the following cannot be the ratio of exchange rate of pound to that of euro on any day in the given week? Pay attention. If the exchange rate of pound and dollar is same on at least three days of the week. In our last question working, did you see B and C have 4 is to 1 and 4 is to 1 and 4 is to 1. 4 is to 1, 4 is to 1, 4 is to 1. So one of them is pound, one of them is dollar. B is pound or dollar. C is dollar or pound. And finally, A is certain to be euros now. Because the ratio 4 is to 1 is being maintained on is being maintained on three separate occasions there. Okay. No, in no other case, you can, you can potentially have between A and C have a ratio of 2 is to 1, 2 is to 1, not 2 is to 1, not 2 is to 1, not 2 is to 1. A and C have 2 is to 1 happening twice and in no other place are you getting similar ratios all over again. Okay. With that said, let's say, which of the following cannot be the ratio of exchange rate of pound to that of euro on any day of the week? Okay, let's see. Euro we know 20. So, sorry, Euro we know is 40. Euro on Monday, Euro is 40. Then we have 50 Euro. Then we have 55 as Euro. Then we have 50 as Euro. And then we have 60 as Euro. Can I get 2 is to 1? 80 ka, 40 ka double 80? Yes. 80 by 40 can be obtained. So this cannot be the answer. 9 is to 5. If I have 50 here, do I have 90 somewhere? No. But I have it here. 90 by 50 on Thursday can be obtained. So this is a possible ratio. Can I have 4 is to 3? Given that I have 60 here and 80 here, a ratio of 4 is to 3. Sorry. 80 by 60, a ratio of 4 is to 3 can be obtained. Can I get a ratio of 10 is to 3? No. This ratio of 10 is to 3 can never be obtained because see, euro is certain. Euro is certain to be 40, 50, 55, 50 and 60. In fact, even within this, you can potentially see 10 is to 3. So which means our euro exchange rate has to be a multiple of 3. The only multiple of 3 is 60. And then we would need some other currency to have an exchange rate of 600, which is not happening. So the correct answer here has to be option D. Now, this is also a line graph question. And the previous question in the list is also a line graph question. This question requires some bits of interpretation, some bits of understanding, especially question six, where the possibility of not exchanging it into a currency on Thursday might escape a few people. But then that is one extreme. This is one extreme. Please pay careful attention. It will serve you well in the long run. Stopping the recording now.